John Brown, a man who had a fanatical belief that he was chosen by God to overthrow black slavery in America. For 40 years, John Brown reflected on the hopelessness and the miserable condition of the slaves. For 12 years, John Brown engaged in land speculations and wool merchandising, all of this to make some money for the greater work in which was the abolishment of slavery. His ventures failing him, he accepted the poverty. John Brown, while tending his flock in Ohio, first communicated with his sons and daughters his plans of attacking slavery by force. John Brown formed an organization among the colored people of the Adirondack Woods to resist the capture of any fugitive slaves. To the people he found worthy of trust, he communicated his plans. John Brown's first thought of the place where he would make his attack come from him while surveying the land for Oberlin College in West Virginia in 1840. Kansas was now the skirmish ground for the Civil War. Those who were pro-slavery were murdered by those who were anti-slavery. John Brown took to guerrilla warfare. John Brown's victory at Blackjack drove those pro-slavery to a new fury, and those who were anti-slavery to new efforts. John Brown, after a long me mediation, planned to fortify himself somewhere in the mountains of Virginia or Tennessee, and there make raids on surrounding plantations, freeing slaves. John Brown collected money from synthesizers and friends to carry out his plans. John Brown made many trips to Canada, organizing his assault on Harper's Ferry. In spite of the price on his head, John Brown, in 1859, liberated 12 Negroes from Missouri Plantation. John Brown, Brown remained a full winter in Canada, drilling Negroes for his coming raid on Harper's Ferry. On July 3rd, 1859, John Brown stocked an old barn with guns and ammunition. He was ready to strike his first blow at slavery. Sunday, October 16th, 1859, John Brown with a company of 21 men, white and black, marched on Harper's Ferry. John Brown held Harper's Ferry for 12 hours. His defeat was a few hours off. After John Brown's capture, he was put on trial for life in Charlestown, Virginia, now modern-day West Virginia. John Brown was found guilty of treason and murder in the first degree and was hung in Charlestown, Virginia on December 2, 1859. This is an important part of history because not many people know the story of John Brown or his life and it is up to us to keep him and his memory alive. We should honor the sacrifices he made and the bravery he showed by continuing to fight for equality for everyone.